Good evening, good evening, good evening, you too. Well, this is uh, Pastor Marlon Boyd. I'm coming on here to do another video. Um, the name of my channel is called Nuggets for Life. I just want to say good evening to my subscribers and to those that are new to the channel. Um, today, I just wanted to come on and just give you a word. I'm kind of riding around in my car, and um, I want to make sure I get this video out. And I just wanted to tell you to, to um, we're going, we're in a phase where a lot of things are happening all around us. And I wanted to, just to tell you to face your giant, face the giants in your life. Don't run, turn and face the giants. You know, I thought about when David, he had been anointed to be the next king. Samuel went to the house and he poured all oil on seven brothers um, at Jesse's house. And Samuel said, is there another? Because the oil is not, I'm paraphrasing it. The oil is not pouring. Is there another? Do you have another son? And Jesse said, yeah, but he's in the field. He's tending the sheep. I know you don't want him. I know you don't want dirty David, little David. Um, no, I don't think you want him. He said, well, I tell you what, we can't sit down and eat until David gets here. Call David and tell him to come. We can't do anything until David get here. And David was so powerful and bold that he wasn't afraid of anything because he had been out in the field um, dealing with the sheep and the Lord had allowed him to kill a lion and a bear so David was fearless and his brothers they looked down on David they didn't understand why David thought he was so much but David was so positive he was so um, tuned into God and I believe while he was out there in the in the fields tending the sheep, the few sheep that they had, that's because that's what they said, who's keeping your few sheep? David uh, let them know, um, it's okay, everything is fine. I just really came to bring y'all some food. Because once David was anointed by Samuel, David's life really didn't change very much until later on he 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 was anointed early on to be king but he was still young so he hadn't taken over his kingdomship yet and so his brothers looked at him as nothing but they were also jealous of him because they couldn't eat until david got there little old david the no good for nothing did david the david that tended the sheep the david that that everybody looked down on they couldn't eat they couldn't do anything until David got there. So I just wanted to tell you, people might be looking down on you and thinking you're nothing and nobody, but you know what? Can't nothing happen until you get there. If you're David, you're a David, can't nothing take place until David shows up. Uh-huh. Because David was going to have to go and face the giant and kill Goliath for all the boys, all the brothers that were supposed to be so powerful. But he gets there, they're fighting, they're getting ready to fight uh, Goliath, but they're scared. Goliath is, 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 is ha taunting them and teasing them and bullying them. And they're scared, but little old David that had just been anointed, he says, I'll fight him. So I want you to know today, saints, that no matter how insignificant you may feel, no matter what people may say about you or feel about you or think about you, they can't do nothing until David gets to the house. So if you are David, I don't care what they're saying about you. God has already anointed you to be who you're supposed to be. And you stand out among the crowd. So don't worry about what they're saying because they can't sit down to the table. They can't eat until David gets there. Their lives won't change until David gets there. 
David caused a change in the, in the Israelite camp. When he killed Goliath, things changed. So don't worry about what people are saying because when you come, things change. They can't eat until David gets there. How many Davids do I have out there? How many Davids do I have out there? They can't do nothing until David gets there. And when David gets there, Samuel pour, turns the oil up and it begins to pour. And it poured all on David. And he was anointed from that time on to be the next king of Israel. But he had to go through some things before he got his kingdomship. Just because you've been anointed, just because you, you, you've been told you're, you're next in line, it doesn't mean that you won't go through some things to get to your, your special place. You're going to go through some things. But just know, they can't do nothing until David gets to the house. I love you. God love you. Be blessed. See you in the next video.